What is going on everybody, this is Drydox here, bringing you another Castle Clash video. In today's video guys, as you can see by the title, I will be talking about the one of the newest heroes, not Golem, he's the newest one, but the second the newest one, Dread Drake. I rolled him a few days ago, and I haven't been leveling him up until, actually until today, I leveled him up. I wanted to save all my books and whatnot for my Destroyer, because I want to be one of the first to get my Destroyer to level 200. Um, he's level 154 right now, and uh, so I used a bunch of books leveling up my blue heroes, my, you know, all these lower level heroes to 60. I used a bunch of honor badges, so I don't know, I just feel like doing it. So, but anyways, so what I'm going to do from here on out is leveling up my destroyer and try to get him to level 200, second evolution. That's what he's at now, second evolution. Just need about, uh, let's see, I need about... 46 more levels to go until he is maxed out completely. So I want to be one of the first people to do that. I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. But that the video is not based on Destroyer. But the video is going to be based on Dread Drake, which I just rolled him recently. And he is at level 120. He has a 5 to 10 cannon blast. Deals 130% damage to 7 random targets. And stuns them for 1.5 seconds. Negates 65% of damage taken for 2.5 seconds. Has a level 5 revitalize and a fast energy recovery. So that is amazing. I have a 3 of 8 Berserk on him as it is. I'll go ahead and lock him up real quick. And I have a new base here as well. Town Hall level 25. Have all my magic towers and whatnot. So I can somehow beat Hero Monsters T. But anyways, let's talk about Dre Drake, guys. Let's see how powerful this guy is, man. Like, seriously, his his um his proc. Like his proc is just amazing in itself. Let's just I'm just gonna go into a regular I don't know, let's go to the last expert dungeon here. Uh, I'm going to attack it normally. I'm not going to uh, sweep it. So let's just see what, what he can do here. Um, I'm going to have Destroyer uh, tank. All the, I have, have all the aggro. But I'm going to have Pirate here. Okay, so let's see what happens. He immediately 5 of 5. 5 of 5 revitalizes. Okay, right when you put him down, he, he immediately procs. So whenever he procs again, he already has... Look at look at his, look at his uh, meter right here. As soon as he gets attacked or aggroed, his... Uh, proc goes all the way up immediately. His energy bar. Look at that. In one attack, he's already up. He's already up now. See, he didn't even attack yet. One attack. Watch. One attack. Full bar. And he just stuns everything for 2.5 seconds, guys. That's including buildings, uh, heroes, troops, everything. Look at that. He can't move. Towers even stun. Tower won't even. Towers won't even be able to attack you. So that is amazing, guys. And I just had destroy here just to aggro, only because. Uh, Dread Drake is only at level 120, and he, he probably, I don't know if he'll be able to do this by himself. Um, I mean, I could try it out, actually. Let's try this out um, right after I beat this real quick. Alright, so let's try this out. Attack, and I'm just going to use Dread Drake and see what happens, guys. Dread Drake, so automatically, 5-5, five five, he automatically procs. So he's getting taking all the aggro right now. Um, he's about to get attacked by Champion, so he's going to take a little bit of damage. So remember, 65% of damage he negates, guys. Now he doesn't have anything to heal him, so he's gonna. I'm gonna have to use this, uh, this, uh, whatever you call this over here, regeneration or whatever. I don't forgot the name of it. But um, let's see if he can take everybody out by himself. This could be tough, guys. See, his spirit mage gets stunned, towers even get stunned for 2.5 seconds, which is awesome. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Spirit mage is almost dead. Of course, attacking these other heroes. Alright, so he gets a little bit lower health. You can see the damage he's ne neglecting, guys. He's only at level 120, everybody. Look at it. He is neglecting so much right now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and heal. Get that up a little bit. There we go. He's, he should be max health now. That's, that's awesome. It's going to be pretty crazy if you can solo this at level 120, guys. This is level 120 Dread Drake at level 5 of 9. Uh, his ability is at 5 of 9. Or, or yeah, 5 of, yeah, 5 of 10. Sorry. So it's going to be pretty amazing if he can do this. I'm going to have to go ahead and throw this down here so he can uh, attack a little bit faster and his attacks get a, bit, a little bit stronger. Look at that, guys. Already, all these buildings getting taken out all by himself. Ex the last the last dungeon. The very last dungeon, guys. It's, I know it's not expert dungeon or nothing like that, but it's an ordinary dungeon, and he's doing it all by himself. Let's go move over to expert and see what happens. No, I'm not going to do that. There's no way. There's no way, right? There's no way. We'll see. We'll see what Dread what Drake, Drake can handle. Here we go. Alright, let's throw out Dread Drake here. 
auto automatically going to be taking all this, all this damage all to himself. Stunning buildings and whatnot. Stun, stun, stun. Dredrake is an amazing hero, guys. Like, I didn't realize how good he was. It was funny, when the, when the game first came out, Dread Drake was like, I think he was called Pumpkin Duke or something, right? If I, if I recall right, when you get a Pumpkin Duke, it was Dread Drake. And, uh, but it took took Castle Clash a long time to actually release Dread Drake. Like, he was on the main cover of Castle Clash when the game first released. It just blows my mind that that actually happened like that. But now he's here, and now he is really good. Awesome, amazing, amazing, amazing for dungeons, guys. I, I love him as a dungeon hero. Like, I really do. Look, see? I mean, I didn't even have to kill the boss, but, I mean, he, he already beat that dungeon. What other dungeons can he... Let's, let's move over to the second dungeon, last one. Three stars, I beat that one. There's no way he's going to be able to do this one, right, guys? Like, there's no way. Let's see. Let's see what he can do. Alright, remember, he negates 65% of the damage taken, which is amazing. All these... All, this is Dungeon Expert 2. Level 2 on Expert. Or dungeon 2, ex whatever it's called. Expert Dungeon 2, okay? Alright, it's going to be tough because he's going to be gonna be getting stunned this whole time. The only thing is, if it, once he gets to this boss, it's going to be really hard to solo with this boss, guys. I just don't see that happening. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down so he can get more damage done. See what I can do here. Alright. He's running out of health, getting pretty close. I wanted to save this as much as possible, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it, get his health back up, and I'm gonna use my. Uh, depending on where he goes from here, use his guardian angel somewhere along the lines. I need to get rid of this stun tower right here, honestly. Boss is not even close to dying. There we go. Okay. Good job, Joe Drake. I'm at 38%, guys. I thought that boss was about to walk through me. I'm like, what? What are you doing, really? Look how many. Look how many buildings are left. I might get able to 100% this. This could be close. It's gonna be really close. I'm at 41%. 30 one minute, and 30 seconds left. No! What is this? How? Man, guys, I don't see it happening. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to 100% it. Redrake's gonna go to the boss next. Yep, not gonna be able to do it, guys. All because I used the Guardian Angel, but. Or uh, uh, the Angel Revive. Whatever it's called. I don't even know what the spells are called. Guardian Angel, I'm pretty sure, right? Okay, so that's him in dungeons, guys. He can solo dungeons a lot by himself, which is amazing. Let's see how he is in the arena right now. I'm at 1300, guys. Uh, I was down to like 700, but let's see what we can do here. I don't know who I'm gonna be going against, or nothing like that. Uh, make sure I have him in here in rotation. Let's see. He's not in here, so I gotta take off. Let's see. Get rid of Paladin. Also, who do I want to get rid of? Get rid of Paladin as well here. Alright, that should be good. Let's see what we can do here. Challenge Chris here. Oh, you're in the middle of a fight, huh? Okay. Come on, man. I just wanna... I just wanna do some arena. Alright, we'll do Cinder Blast. Alright, again, I don't know where they're going to spawn, so what I usually go for, guys, is I'm going to try to get rid of his his health up here before he gets rid of mine or kills my heroes. That's all I'm going for. I'm not going to try to kill his heroes or nothing like that. Let's see it. Dread Drake's going to get thrown in here. I have a, uh, his crest is at 2, level 2 uh, uh, sprint. So we're going to run across his heroes here. He's got a 5 of 5 Ares, which is... It's going to be okay. We'll see. Dread Drake's going to take some damage. Dread Drake's dead. Uh, let's see who we have. We have Destroyer still left. Can he destroy these guys by himself? He should revive here one more time. No, they took him out. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go to... We can beat We can beat Cinder Blast. No, we can't. It was all because of his 5 of 5, uh, five, of five Ares that he had. So we're not going to go up against his heroes. We're going to go to the middle lane. And so we can just run straight to his base. Um, there's the yeah, Dread Drake, Pumpkin Duke, come on, there we go. Alright, should be everybody. Alright, so immediately off the rip, he gets stunned because he has 5-5 five five Revite, right? So the only thing we're worried about here is his Ares, because he's got heroes that are going to 
Kill my kill my heroes. Okay, nice proc by the uh, Dread Drake here. Keep it against the proc. There it goes. Dread Drake's gonna proc one more time, hopefully. All right, doesn't even matter because before they even got to my base, his heroes were dead. So that's awesome. I got two more chances here. Let's go against Borky here and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna try to lane again and see what happens, guys. Again, look, they're they're higher they're higher might than I am, guys. They're higher might than I am. All right, so he's got a Dread Drake as well, so and a Harpy Queen. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, guys. He also has like a five of five sprint on him or four or five maybe. We shall see. He's gonna stun my heroes one more time here in just a second. Uh, I'm need to be careful of his Santa, his Harpy Queen as well, because he's gonna be able to proc and kill my heroes, which is very scary. I need my Cupid to proc, which I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. He's gonna take me out with Harpy Queen, Santa, and Dread Drake attacking me. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go. Ah, uh, I don't know. It might. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I need Skull Knight and Destroyer to tank out here. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. Skull Knight is the proc. Nope. Ares gonna take that away. He has no DPS. No DPS heroes really. Destroyer proc. Come on, Destroyer. Come on. Come on, Destroyer. Ares. Oh no. He has no DPS heroes, which is amazing. But he should be able to get it. Come on, Destroyer. Destroy a tank out, bro. You're almost there. Just one more proc. Ares took his proc away. Can he do it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't proc Ares. Ares procced. No. Attack the freaking. Oh my gosh. He ain't gonna. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. How intense was that? All right, so now we're in the 800s. We're going to go against this 734 here and see what happens. I'm not filling the middle lane for some reason. I'm going to go over to the uh, to the far, the, to the bottom lane. If y'all didn't know, the bottom lane, uh, the route is quicker. And then the second fastest route is the, mid is the middle, and then the top route is the slowest. That uh, Those are the routes that um, that you don't really want to take. That, that often is the top one just because uh, if you're trying to get rid of the base, get rid of his health, it's going to take so long. Not it's gonna, not so long, but it's going to take a little bit. Okay, he's taking a slower route. He doesn't have a Dread Drake. It does not look like, which is amazing. So I might be able to beat him here. He has he has heroes that are going to be able to take out my heroes is the only thing. So I'm going to need some stuns from Dread Drake coming along here. Should be able to stun one more time. Cupid's going to give him an extra buff. That should That's easy work, guys. Easy work. I'm at 734 now. Uh, I'm going to keep working my ranks down and seeing where that can go. But the only thing that I'm missing, guys, is my power. I don't have a power master. It's the only thing. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, that, Harpy Queen, and Dread Drake together would be a serious team in an arena. But uh, all I have is Dread Drake and Harpy Queen. And Harpy Queen's not leveled up that high. It's the only flaw that I'm missing right now is the power master. So, But again, I'm not really going for arena rank. I just want to show you all how strong Dread Drake actually is. Um... Just by himself, really, and how strong he is in the arena and using dungeons. So, um, yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It is a little bit rather long just for, you know, Dread Drake, but I just wanted you all to have a better idea of how good he actually was. But, uh, anyways, guys, if you all enjoyed the video, pl please leave a like. Comment down below what you all thought about it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. I upload every single day. Hope you all enjoy the video, guys. And until next time, it's your boy Stridox. Peace.